So if we're looking at compaction on a silage pit, which is critical to, to show how much air we've got out of it, we want the silage to be really well compacted. Now I'm using a temperature probe here, and we can see very well compacted silage, and this is forage wagon silage, okay? So, you know, often forage wagon stuff isn't rolled as well. So we can be as complicated as we want to try and assess the silage density and whatever. We can take cores, weigh them, or all this sort of thing. Great if you're a scientist, if you're a farmer, or just for me on farm looking at it. If we get a probe and we can push it in and it's hard to go in, we know it's well compacted. If we can push that a probe in and it just disappears in quickly, or there's areas in the clamp where it disappears in here easily, it shows compaction is not uniform. We should be filling the clamp at six, the four to six inch layers, so 100, 150 mil, no more. The drier the silage, or the more stemmy the silage, the thinner the layers. Um, rolling it constantly, and as far as weight on the silage pit is concerned, a silage of 30% dry matter should have 25% of the weight coming in into the clamp per hour on the clamp. So if the silage is being brought in at 100 tonnes an hour, which isn't an excessive amount with a big contractor, we need 25 tonnes up on a clamp. So a big loading shovel is probably 16 tonnes, not heavy enough. And just another point on the loading shovel, if we are, you know, what we need to do is to pump the tyres on a loading shovel up or any, anything rolling the clamp to the highest rated pressure that tyre can take to give you more down pressure and more PSI going down into the silage.